Today, only a handful of specialists create daguerreotypes. Here, Dr. Mike Robinson makes a portrait using his own version of the technique. A daguerreotype starts with a silver-coated copper plate, which is buffed for a few minutes to produce a mirror-like surface. The plate is placed face down into boxes filled with iodine and then bromide, which react with the silver to make the plate sensitive to light. The sensitized plate is slotted into a holder for a camera. Working under a black cloth makes it easier to see the subject through the lens to focus the image. Once the focus is set, the wooden holder containing the plate is loaded into the camera. The photograph is taken by removing the lens cap to let light in. When enough time has passed, the lens cap is put back on to stop the exposure. At this point, the image is still invisible or latent. To start the developing process and bring out the image, the plate is exposed to mercury fumes in another safe, purpose-built box. It now needs to be fixed to prevent the image from disappearing. Fixing the image with a type of salt, sodium thiosulfate, washes away any remaining light-sensitive silver, stopping it from reacting with daylight. Once all the silver has dissolved, the plate is rinsed with distilled water to remove the fixing solution. Next, to improve the stability and contrast of the daguerreotype, a solution of gold chloride is mixed and poured over the plate. The plate is heated to warm the solution and bring out the different tones in the image. Lastly, the plate is heated again to dry it. <laughs> 